it's me again kiana and welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is kiana and i do bookish things here book reviews vlogs wrap-ups tags all of that today we're going to be doing the book review for the undercover bromance by lisa k adams the second book in the bromance book club series i will not lie this is my second time recording this review because I lost all my footage for my first one and it pissed me off. So yes, this is the second book. The first one I tabbed up. I didn't get a chance to tab this one up and I'm so upset because I love this one. So for those who don't know how I do my reviews, I read the synopsis. I do my reading, my favorite character, my least favorite character, what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I wanted more out of the book. So it, this will be spoilers, just so you know. So let's just go ahead and get started with this video. Um... Brandon Mack thinks reading romance novel makes him an expert in love, but he'll soon discover that real life is better than fiction. Liv Papandras has a dream job as a sous chef at Nashville's hottest restaurant. Too bad the celebrity chef owner is less than charming and behind kitchen doors. After she catches him harassing a young hostess, she confronts him and gets fired. Liv vows revenge, but she'll need assistance to take on the powerful chef unfortunately that means turning to brandon mack when lives blackballed from the restaurant scene the charismatic nightclub entrepreneur offers to help expose her ex-boss but she is suspicious of his motives how need to call reinforcements the bromance book club um inspired by the romantic su um suspense novel they are reading the books as club assist lib and setting up a sting operation to take down the chef but they're just as eager to help mag figure out the way to Liv's heart even though she's determined to squelch the spark between them before she gets burned so i end up giving this a four and a half out of five stars so let's put this down and let's talk about this okay so my favorite character of course was mag who is our main love interest in this um personally he was my favorite because he tries in my opinion so hard to make everything great make everything wonderful make sure the girls have a, a girl he's dating has a good experience and some guys aren't like that and then of course the russian who we find out his name is vlad in this book i loved him because throughout this entire thing no matter what was going on he was ready to fuck shit up he's like you need me for this okay i'm there you need me all right i'm there like no questions asked he was ready he's my absolute favorite um and it's so sad for me to say but my least favorite is Liv. Um, I didn't like her in the first book, as I said in my review, which I'll link somewhere in the eye. I did not like her. She actually annoyed me a lot with the shit she did, and I just, she pissed me off. Um, and this one, no matter how many times Mac and Rosie, who Liv lived with, was so close to getting her to open up, she shut down. Um, when she was talking to the girls who was assaulted by Royce, you know, she was very like, I, but I need you to do this. And it wasn't more of what the girls who were assaulted wanted. It was more of what Liv had wanted. And that's what really pissed me off. So let's go into what I liked about this book. I loved how the guys were ready to help with Liv no matter what. As soon as she told them what was going on, what Roy was being accused of, all of them was like, all right, what do you need us to do? when and where what's going on and i love that they make the women who are part of the me too movement feel seen in my opinion um i like how they included what happens to those who are attacked how they're retaliated in this book um royce after he attacked jessica and Liv found out he had jessica followed Liv followed people go to Liv's house uh stop their social media account to make sure that they're not talking about it and that really happens like in the real world with people who are attacked and are raped like they try to intimidate them so that they can't move on and like tell people um i loved how rosie treated Liv like her daughter like okay you're gonna get up you're gonna do chores but when you're down in the dirt i'm gonna help you um as we know from both books Liv does not have a good relationship with her mother or her father so to have rosie there as someone who could be her parent meant the world to me because this girl just needed it like i said when i said the russian was my favorite he was ready for whatever he helped mac and Liv break into reese's office and when he heard those footsteps he was like i'm ready come on let's fight let's go i will defend you guys and i love him he is my favorite and i cannot wait to read his story um the sex scenes the sex scenes in this book was a hundred times better than the second one mac and Liv were very talkative like tell me what you want to do where you want my hands and i love that 10 out of 10 with that 
um what I didn't like like I said when I said Liv wasn't my favorite I did not like how pushy she was with the girls who got attacked you have to let these girls who are part of the me too movement you have to let them um come forward it can't be all right well I want you to do it no you have to let them be ready to go to the hospital report it all of that and Liv was just too pushy and it annoyed the shit out of me um I know it's a part of what happens, but how Royce really blacklisted Liv when she confronted him about what he was doing. He made sure she, when she had everything set up, all her interviews, and they got canceled because he made sure she would never work in that town again. And that was like really sad. Um, again, I know how this works, but how the workers who knew what Royce were doing, how they protected him and how they may try to make it seem that Liv and Jessica's were the one and wrong and that was just really like annoying and hurtful um Hops who is like Rose's like boyfriend whatever they're like best friends his commentary at times was very sexist very toxic masculinity and it pissed me off like yes I guess it needed to be included but it really annoyed the shit out of me because we really didn't need it um how Liv every time when she was ready to be vulnerable ready to open up about what was going on in her life made herself unvulnerable back down it really pissed me off because girl we worked you up so hard to finally confess how you really are and then you're just you're doing this piss me off uh what I wanted more from this book so in the first book under um the Bromance book club we got a lot of the scenes of the book they were reading and this one we didn't get that much and it kind of annoyed me because the whole purpose of this book is you guys are reading a book to help with what is going on where is that book and how is it helping you right now um I wanted more of Liv and Mac talking about their childhood like yes they talked about it a little bit how Mac said he was the son of a killer and all of that but I wanted him to dive more into it how did that get him to change his last name how he's so protective of his mother I wanted more of that and then I wanted more of what happened after they exploit expose <laughs> exposed Royce we got that they made it in time to the um to the press conference but all we see is them flash forward and it's Mac proposing and on the news Royce has been sentenced to prison and has to pay like get all that money back from the girls like and do this but I want to know what led up to it like how was Liv involved with the police for breaking in like how Mac was involved I wanted more of that and I feel like they rushed with it too much in my opinion but that is my review for The Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams. I absolutely love this series. I literally just finished reading the third book like yesterday and I want to so bad continue with the fourth book but the fifth book isn't out yet so I'm like I'm really sad. But yes this is my review for this. I'll be leaving here two videos you guys should go check out. I try really hard to post two to three times a week. Life has been getting in the way now that I'm pregnant and hopefully I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys! Bye.